Hello Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. Uh, we're going to be looking at the energy surrounding you, what's coming your way in love. As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. So just keep that in mind. If this does not resonate at all, then check out my playlist for Capricorn. You can get to all of my playlists by clicking on my username here and then scrolling down. Excuse me. All right, so let's jump right in. What's the overall energy, spirits, angels, guides for Capricorn in love? For Capricorn. Capricorn. Energy surrounding Capricorn in love. Interesting. I'm, I'm picking up some strange energy for you guys. I don't, I just feel scared. <laughs> I don't know why. There's like a fear here. Let's see. Like an apprehension. Tell me more about the overall energy for love with Capricorn energy spirit. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Can I get one more? Overall energies, please, for Capricorn. Very strange energy, Capricorn. It's almost like, how do I explain this? It's like someone doesn't want to find something out or is afraid of speaking or saying something or hearing something something like it's like that kind of energy of it's not like a fear like a ghost <laughs> jumping in like scaring you it's like a fear of i don't know like almost like feeling it in your gut healing family issues okay so i don't know is this very interesting energy i want to see what the my energy oracles come out here with but I, I want to say that um, when I, when I, the energy that I'm picking up right now, Capricorn, obviously it's not for everyone, but I feel like it's, it's a fear of um, the repercussions, the consequences of something. And so I want to say that sometimes um, that fear can consume you to the point where it paralyzes you. You cannot actually take any actions or steps and you kind of can like keep yourself stuck in that state and it's not healthy. Um, so I think it's interesting that healing family issues came out here. Let's see what we get with the energy cards. This is my solar energy Oracle deck. It's my physical deck. Um, you can purchase this deck if you're interested or look at more pictures down below in the description box. Spirit, what are the energies surrounding Capricorn? Past, present, future energies, please, for Capricorn in love. I literally am picturing someone like stuck, stuck in a bad energy or stuck in this fearful energy. So let's see what we get. Tell me about the past, past energies for Capricorn. Okay, we have happy ending, abundance, joy, fulfillment, you have achieved absolute happiness and fulfillment. Okay, so we're starting off good here. Family card here with happy ending, very similar to the 10 of cups. Present energy, please, for Capricorn. Moving forward, movement ending cycle cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. And then this one wants to come out. Future energy, secret admirer. You've caught someone's eye. Didn't we have readings recently for you guys? You had like a secret in my uh, um, reading recently and it was Capricorn, I remember. Bottom of the deck, I have lasting promise, commitment, longevity, future. This connection will stand the test of time. So there are like wedding rings here. Hmm. So maybe this fear is someone who is admiring you and doesn't know how to tell you. Let's see. Let's get into the tarot. Tell me more, spirit, for Capricorn in love. What's going on? The high priest is here. What is going on for Capricorn in love? Capricorn. Eight of coin reverse, present energy, ten of coin, ace of cups. What? Look at this. Are you seeing this energy?
Justice. Wow. Okay. Libra energy with justice. Someone making things right or, or perhaps there's something that's fair balance to you. What's at the bottom of the deck? Overall energy. Nine of swords reverse. So this is someone overcoming their fear. The nine of swords upright is someone that's literally um, up all night, sleepless, anxiety, fear, that energy that I was kind of picking up while I was shuffling. So I feel like someone's breaking free of this or the fear is no longer holding them back. And then I have the four of wands reverse after that with the six of point. Interesting. Some of you, I'm picking up, you were already with this person. Maybe you were married with this person or had children with this person with this happy ending card and this family card here. Some of you possibly um, met someone through a family member. I feel like that didn't work in the past or perhaps um, something in the past, a connection of the past didn't work for one of you because both of you could, this could be your energy Capricorn or your person's energy. So I feel like some something there could have happened in the past between you. But for others of you, I feel like this is someone that you've never been with. I have the Ace of Cups here with the Ten of Coins. So um, a lot of potential here for a long-term commitment. However, that's right under moving forward. So I feel like one of you needs to leave a situation and a cycle in order to have this come in. Because this is all about moving forward into a new chapter. And then I have Secret Admire with the Justice card. So you've caught someone's eye. And not only have you caught their eye, but I feel like they want to make some sort of final decision. Maybe this is someone that works in an official capacity or in a government building or a legal person. I don't know what the case, oh, we're going to find out when we clarify. But this is just what I'm picking up right away here. So let's get into this. Let's dive deep in here. Spirit. Help me clarify these energies for Capricorn, please. Someone is breaking free of something. I really fear, feel, it's fear. <laughs> Help me clarify these energies for Capricorn, please. Clarify. Interesting. I'm getting that uh, the message that some of you were in a situation that you thought was it like it was your happy ending it was everything you thought was going to be and more and that for some reason didn't work with the eight of coin let's see why is the nine of swords reverse why is the nine of swords reverse the lovers Gemini energy Why is the Nine of Swords reverse? Three of Cups reverse. Interesting. Why is the Nine of Swords reverse? Seven of Swords. Bottom of the deck, the High Priestess. High Priestess came out again. It was came out, it came out while I was shuffling. It came out now, and it came out with a Seven of Swords. And again, all these three cards. I'm gonna show. I'm just gonna show you Capricorn. All of these cards have three people in them. Here's the Seven of Swords. Three of Cups is reverse. The Lovers is three people. So, I feel like there was probably. I don't know if this happened. <clears throat> To one of you to both of you whatever the case may be i feel like someone here has been secretly spying or eyeing someone else and i feel like it could even be someone that's in a commitment so look at that that man <laughs> looking at this woman down here that man is in a seemingly in a connection looking at someone else so there could be a situation where your secret admirer is already with someone else um could be married with someone else. I have the lovers here, a card that looks very much like they're getting married. Um, and then I have the three of cups reverse. So some sort of third party interference. That's the first thing I'm seeing. Um, the second thing I'm seeing is I feel like someone has been secretly spying on you or admiring you or has not communicated, you know, how they feel about you, 
But this is what they're hoping for, the lovers. However, there is a Three of Cups reverse, which is an interference. And I think the interference is a lack of communication, uh, the secrecy, um, the doubts, right? I mean, this is someone that is very like calm and just not speaking, not communicating. I have the Page of Cups right behind that. So two very different... Um, messages that I'm getting there, but we'll see what else we get when we clarify. Tell me about this eight of coin reverse for Capricorn, please. Why is the eight of coin reverse? The higher font reverse, Taurus energy. So broken commitment here. Something wasn't working. Uh, this could be, be a marriage that isn't working. Tell me more about the eight of coin reverse. Eight of wands. Okay. Can I get one more? Where's the Eight of Coin reverse. Queen of Swords. Two of Wands reverse. Okay, so what I'm getting here, um, the Queen of Swords, Eight of Wands, there obviously could be some sort of communication coming in, someone um, communicating. However, the Queen of Swords, they're very um, hard to read. Um, cold, detached, very protective over their heart. Um, they've been burned before and so now they are, they, they don't mess around. Uh, very cold energy. The Eight of Wands is some sort of message coming in, movement, news. So either there's some sort of communication happening here, but, but what I'm getting here though with these cards is that there's something that's not working. And I feel like someone is like wanting to move on from this cold energy, um, perhaps thinking of communicating with someone else. Let's see. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is this Eight of Wands here? The Star Reverse Aquarius Energy. So lack of faith, lack of hope, something needing a lot of healing, something feeling hopeless. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. Again, I'm getting like that cold energy. The Ten of Cups reverse. See, this is like the Ten of Cups, this happy ending card. And it's reverse with the higher font reverse. We got the healing family issues card. We have the 10 of pentacles. We have the three of cups. I feel like someone here is already in a commitment. Bottom of the deck, six of wands reverse. So this is a commitment or a family or uh, a situation that's not working out. I feel like maybe a message came in or communication has taken place that have ruined uh, a connection or have made someone very unhappy and now they're feeling like there's no hope for them this could be you your person yeah the empress reverse there's something that's not growing not manifesting this could even be someone that if someone decided to move on move forward from a commitment this person felt left behind abandoned uh, but there, there was no happiness here only coldness Maybe at first it appeared happy, but it's not. Tell me if this is resonating down below, Capricorn. Um, if you are single and don't know this person, this is happening outside of you. I feel like because Secret Admirer is here, I can say that because I feel like a lot of you could be dealing with someone who's going through this in their life, but is secretly watching you, if that makes sense. I know that sounds creepy, but that's what I'm getting. Tell me about the Ten of Coin with the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ten of Coin here with the Ace of Cups? The Magician. Okay, so someone's manifesting this. Something new, a new cycle. Stability, long-term love, long-term stability. Can I get one more for the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups? Strength, Leo energy, courage, taking control of a situation, being strong. Can I get one more for the Ten of Coin and the Ace of Cups? Two of Cups. Wow, beautiful. I cannot. I mean, what? Two of Cups here. 
So what I'm getting here is in the present, there is something that's unfolding here in terms of love. And it's a love that's manifested. And it's a love that requires courage and strength with the strength card. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Libra, an Aquarius. What else do I have here? I have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, Taurus. Um, those are just the signs that I'm seeing, but it does not have to be that. It's just this is somebody that is manifesting new love, moving forward into a new cycle that is full of love, abundance. I have Ace of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. Come on. So why is justice here? Why is justice here? Judgment. Wow. Holy crap. Justice and judgment. This could be karmic, like karma. Someone, something being fair to you because of karma. I don't normally get that energy with justice, but justice is a card that could be about karma. And then I have judgment, which is a card about having an awakening, a wake up call, looking at the past and learning from the past in order to have a new cycle. So I'm getting almost like someone is having some sort of, I don't know, like justice is here to right the ship. Why is justice here? Temperance reverse. Sagittarius energy. These are all major arcanas, major shifts in energy. Why is justice here? Can you get one more, please? Death. Wow. Holy crap. I just got chills, guys. Scorpio energy. These are major cards. And there you are at the bottom of the deck, the devil reversed. There is something here that is ending, a cycle that is ending for you, for your person, for both of you. Um, you are freeing yourself from a situation that wasn't fair or balanced to you. Uh, maybe things were taking a long time. Maybe things were not coming together for you. And I feel like now judgment and justice are here to really wake you up to, a, to this fact. There's a huge change happening here. This is like a complete transformation. This will be, uh, I mean, these are all major arcanas, all of them. And it's almost like, like it was destined, you know, I just, I'm, I, I'm surprised the wheel of fortune isn't here or the world isn't here. And for some reason, I don't know, like, can I get one for this judgment card? Why is judgment here? I feel like judgment is like the missing, it's like the, the domino that starts everything. Why is judgment here? It could even be a legal situation. Page of Pentacles reverse with the Knight of Pentacles. Yes, I feel like this is this is going to be a long time coming or it's going to be something that has been developing over time. Um, I feel like there was an opportunity here that was either delayed or something like that. And that's why justice is here. You know, we have the Knight of Pentacles here. This is an opportunity that, you know, slow and steady, but it arrives. And then I have the Five of Pentacles reversed. So it's almost like it's going to be a situation that where you're no longer going to uh, struggle. This could be somebody also coming in, wanting to come out of the cold and into something better. This could be financial for some of you legal for some of you but i feel like at first it's going to feel like things are not happening with temperance reverse and prince of pentacles Re princess of pentacles which is the page of pentacles reverse but that's why justice is here justice along with judgment along with death you know it's almost like justice is here to close whatever needs to close in order for there to be a new beginning so what are the challenges or the blocks here Spirit, what are the challenges or the blocks here for Capricorn? Page of Cups reverse. What are the challenges or the blocks? Queen of Swords. Okay, so again, I'm getting the sense of someone's uh, disappointed, heartbroken, and this Queen of Swords, I think, has something to do with it. I don't know who this is, but I feel like this is someone that is, um, I don't know, cold, detached, Maybe this person, maybe you don't even recognize this person. You don't even see this person. 
maybe you are cold and detached and it's very difficult for them i mean take it as it resonates but i feel like this this queen of swords is making things difficult yeah ten of wands a burden um a, a weight on someone's shoulders someone could be holding something in um to the point where it's become a burden And I think the overall energy here is the Nine of Swords reverse because I feel like someone has to overcome their fear above all to, to go after this new manifestation that they want, this Two of Cups, this, this amazing new journey. I mean, I feel like it's going to be everything that you wanted and more, Capricorn. Like, I don't even think that this is something that you envision for yourself, um, but... I feel like this is going to be a beautiful connection for sure. Let me get some. Oh, by the way, the Emperor is at the bottom of the deck here with the Ten of Wands. So Aries energy, taking charge, doing what needs to be done, making difficult decisions. The Emperor is um, also very brave. I want to get some messages for you now. Any messages for Capricorn? Wow. First card out. Your wish will be granted. Divine timing. Wait and see. Are you kidding me? This is an amazing reading. I don't even want to like... <laughs> Can I be a Capricorn right now? Like This is an amazing reading. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings and want to see more. And um, don't forget to also leave me a comment if this resonated for you, if you got something out of this reading. I didn't even say that during the reading because I was so like transfixed, but feel free to say hi below and I'll see you all in another video. Take care.